Another crazy day at the clown circus that is the Labour Party in England. Yes, another Labour politician has now been suspended over Islamism. Surprise, surprise. This is Khoram Majid, uh, who is a local Labour politician. And he decided to, to do some uh, postings and reposting on social media over the last uh, few days. Uh, and special thanks to boy, um, Guido that decided to expose him. Following that, the Labour Party have decided to suspend him. The Labour Council decided to suspend him. Labour uh, suspend uh, council candidate uh, following tweets suggesting that the uh, Hamas bombings were inevitable. And essentially, you know, as, as, as they always say, resistance uh, is justified. Anything you have to do against the Jews and the Jewish nation is justified and they are evil and you have to do it otherwise there's no point and uh, they always happen to be the same type of people by the way in politics who say these sort of things uh, they happen to be left wing and uh, sometimes uh, islamic backgrounds as well let's have a look at a couple of the the posts that he he has reposted to see what they actually said one of them said israel committed another large-scale massacre in gaza today the pretext was that it was targeting the Hamas mastermind uh, of the October 7th. But if Israel was taken by surprise on October the 7th, then how does it know who masterminded the attack? So same, basically saying they, it was inevitable, they should, they should not be surprised. The next one is even worse. I do not, I do not condemn Hamas. Well, that's good to know because it's, it will be illegal if we say that. October 7th was inevitable. <laughs> so close, so close. Given the conditions that these people have been forced to live under. I'm sorry. Since 2005, 2006, when they elected these nutters in, we've already shown you videos from Gaza. Not just the last few years, with a nice beach and the middle classes enjoying life, and then the rest of the people being treated like plebs by the leadership in Gaza. Not Israel, not Italy, not France. The leadership in Gaza they did that. And even right now we have footage which I've been exposing regularly on, of course, 2CTV. How many times do we have to go through this for people to realize the truth that this is all propaganda? And how many times the Labour Party have to suspend their own politicians and candidates and everybody else for people in this country to realize, yes, we're all sick and tired of the Tories and the Tory government, but the alternative should not necessarily be the Labour Party. We are sleepwalking into absolute chaos and tyranny in Britain just because the, the Tory party decided to stop being conservative and bow down to the political left. And now we're actually electing the political left. This is insanity.